Phone numbers, emails, addresses, and card numbers are just some of the things hackers want to get their hands on. But there's another type of data at risk your DNA. And it has to do with these at-home DNA testing kits. If you're ordering this, you probably want to learn about yourself, your ethnicity, or your family relationships, but they come with a catch. What experts say is that a lot of people don't really recognize how much information they're putting out there, and they don't really recognize kind of uh, what people might be able to do with that information. That information reveals details about our health and risks for certain diseases. And that information is lucrative. They also can use that information for research and they might sell it to third parties that also do research. And once that happens, you kind of don't know exactly what's going to happen with your data. So let's back up and define our terms. Third parties look like this. Without scientists, who will cure diseases? And who will discover the things you never knew existed? This is GlaxoSmithKline, or GSK. It's a science-led global healthcare company on a mission to help people do more, feel better, and live longer. DNA samples can help with those efforts. So much so, the company paired up with 23andMe for, quote, research and development of innovative new medicines and potential cures, and key in on this, using human genetics as the basis for discovery. But once that data is out there, it's very hard to call it back. The terms and conditions on my heritage are a solid example of this. It says by submitting DNA samples to us and or DNA results to the website, you grant us a royalty-free worldwide license to use your DNA samples. Here's the good news. With the kind of the bigger, better known companies, companies like Ancestry, 23andMe, and MyHeritage, they have pretty clear policies. And they say that if you contact them, whether you call them or whether you request, uh, you log into your account and you request that they delete your data, that they'll delete your data from their servers and they'll discard your sample. But there are three instances where companies can't delete your DNA data. One, regulatory purposes. Two, subpoenas and warrants and three, DNA data already used or being used for research. The really key thing for people to keep in mind is that you know once they've sent their data in, it is really hard to make sure that you can actually have it all deleted. And so you have to be aware of that decision when you're kind of sending in that tube of saliva.